guys, it's Double A coming back at you just with a small update at this point in time. I haven't been able to really work on any of the refractory as one, I left the foundry sitting in the yard at my mother's house after that ant burning because it was just too hot to pick up. So I just picked it up this morning and it rained today. I've got blue skies and also I might try to heat some up here in a little bit. I haven't done anything with it so far as far as the refractory one reason is because i'm having trouble finding silica sand a bag of silica sand it's, it's it's ridiculous that i'm having such trouble finding it because we got this huge plant just like 45 minutes from here called u.s silica and that's what they make is silica sand silica based products stuff like that and i can't seem to find it in stores let me show you what i got as far as the burner though so here we have it in pieces we have our main body this here is a uh, inch and a quarter by three eighths bushing. I stripped that out and had to drill it out. So uh, there's gonna have to be some more finagling there. But that will go in this top piece, like so. All this will have to be pipe dope because all this will have gas introduced at the very base of it all. But I want that gas in there moving together so that it mixes thoroughly so that I can get a good even um, fuel usage, maybe to burn even hotter. All right, from there, we've got this piece here. Now, this is an inch and a quarter by three quarter bushing uh, and a 12 inch, I believe that's a 12 inch three quarter pipe. I know it's galvanized. I will degalvanize it. Not a problem. So, this will go in there. But before that goes in there, we have this piece here. Now, this is what I was telling you about. I wanted to create like a little impeller. And what I've done is just taken a piece of flat and uh, cut it in the middle I just measured pretty much that far but I cut it in the middle and um, I started twisting it and no it's not consistent the twist is not consistent I twisted from different parts of the steel uh, because I wanted the air to trip over itself trying to move around in there <clears throat> because I want it to mix so that Go right in here. Good snug fit. I might throw a couple uh, tacks in there just to make sure it doesn't move anywhere. But let's see if I can. Yeah, as you can see, let me see. There we go. You get a little bit of air through the uh, light through there. So it's got a good bit of blockage. That air should trip all over itself trying to get around in there. That will, in turn, go in there. Okay. And then we have a three-quarter T with two close nipples and two 90s. This is what we got thus far. Like I said, the air, the fuel, and the air will start mixing right here. And to come up through here, through that impeller, twist around, trip all over itself. It'll get up here and hit a dead end in which it has to go left to right, creating an eddy current in either direction. And then it's got to turn again, in which I have another eddy current on both sides. So there ought to be plenty of mixing in here. As far as the gas being introduced, that 3 8 bushing that I told you about earlier, this 3 8 tube here, brass, it fits right in there. All right, uh, but before that goes in there, and that'll get soldered in, we have an 035 MIG tip, and I will boost this up to an 045 if I have to. I'll even go to a 1 16th, shove the pipe down through there and cap it off and, and make it a 1 16th if I have to. But that'll go in there, and of course it's a little bit loose. So what I'll do is I'll just take this over there to, to Oof Barrett and uh, taper that down until it fits snugly, and then I will solder that in. And then I will stick it in here, and I will solder that in. And uh, this is where your air supply will come in. So we should start mixing right here. When that uh, gas is coming straight down and that air is coming straight in, it should start mixing there and continue to mix. Now, from here, there will be another three-quarter pipe. And I don't have any of these because I've got to get measurements. that will come out like that with an, a 90 on this end. And from that 90, we will come down with uh, out to an inch and a half exhaust. And that will mount right over here, like so. 
So that's where it amount like that. From here, it's going to come out far enough to where I can put a 3 8 cutoff uh, uh, gate valve on both sides. That way, I can adjust the flame on each burner head, introducing gas in one time. Um, I'm hoping this is going to work. I got ample amounts of, uh, of air supply, I believe. Uh, fuel supply, I don't know if 035 is going to do it. We'll have to see. But essentially that's, that's, uh, that's what we're going for and that's, that's where we are right now. So basically I've got a little bit of solder and I've got to get a 3 8 um, valve. I've got to get the connection here. Which that's that's no one eighth one eighth three eighths that's three eighths connection so I got to go from three eighths down to one eighth that ought to be a lot of fun but um once I get all that together and I got to get all this doped up all this has to be doped up from starting from well actually from here and on up everything needs to be piped up because there is gas involved we don't need any leaks at all with a gas air mixture it is flammable and under some type of pressure because it'll never end up good if there's a leak and a spark and being that there's going to be a flame not far from it uh, we don't want to take a chance so um, that's where I'm at right now I want to have the capabilities to do Damascus I could build a simple burner and just put all this together and just do some simple stuff but you know I want to shoot for the stars I'm aiming high guys I'm aiming really high with this have it, um just in a nutshell, that's that's basically all that I've been able to get done lately. Work's been busy, home life's been busy, finances have been terrible. <laughs> Is there any other way? So um, like and subscribe, guys, and come back and, and continue to watch this build because I, this is eventually going to get to a point where it's just going to tumble over the edge and just all fall together, and it'll be done. Thank God. So um, keep heating and beating, guys. Later.